This week, Mr. Sakurai and the Smash Ultimate development team released Min Min and the rest of Fighter Pack 6 upon the world. Despite being the 81st character to join the series, Min Min is highly unique in her design, sporting incredible range and a new control scheme. So taken together, how does the entirety of Fighter Pack 6 stack up? I'm the hobbyist, and without further ado, let's review Min Min and the rest of Smash's ARMS DLC. ARMS is one of Nintendo's most unique IPs. It takes the sport of boxing and combines it with ranged aiming and firing mechanics to create a new type of shooter fighting game. But just how well does the 3D combat of ARMS translate into the 2D action of Smash Bros? Overall, pretty faithfully. Minin brings a whole new fighting style to the Smash Bros experience. She has the longest attack range of any non-projectile character, and her unique controls ensure that she does not play like any fighter that released before her. In ARMS, players can control their left and right arms independently, opening up new strategies regarding timing and space control. Sakurai and his team fully implemented this aspect of the original game into Min Min's Smash moveset. Instead of traditional special moves, Min Min controls her left arm with the A button and her right arm with the B button. Just like in ARMS, this allows the player to fire each arm separately, and it makes Min Min incredible at controlling space, especially around the ledge. Min Min also has three weapons to switch between on her right arm, and each is best used in different situations. The ring-shaped Ram Ram covers a lot of vertical space in front of Min Min, and it's great at hitting aerial opponents and interrupting their recovery offstage. The Megawatt is slow and powerful, and it's arguably Min Min's most reliable arm for taking stocks. The Dragon is a relatively basic arm that can extend its range even further by firing a laser. The arm itself is pretty quick and great for controlling stage and the laser can be excellent at edgeguarding your foes. Together, these three different arms give Min Min a number of options in battle, and forcing opponents to adapt to changing loadouts is one of her biggest strengths. So, with all of these new mechanics, how does Min Min feel to play as? Well, the answer to that is a bit complicated. Min Min in Smash Bros absolutely captures the essence of her original game, but the fact that she has a unique control scheme also pits her against one of Smash's core tenants. Unlike other 2D fighting games, where every character has different combo inputs, Smash was built on the idea that all of its fighters would share a single control scheme. Everyone would have normal attacks on A, and special attacks on B. While every fighter's individual moves were different, you could learn one control scheme and use it to play as any character. Min Min is the first challenger in Smash history to break that pattern, and it makes her very difficult to just pick up and play. I had to spend a couple hours with Min Min before I even felt like I had full control of the character, and I'm still learning how to best use her long-range, laggy attacks. Obviously, any new fighter to join Smash Bros brings with them a learning curve. I understand that. Min Min has the highest curve of any new fighter I've ever experienced, and her moveset just won't click with me right away like Jokers or Heroes did. When playing as Min Min, there are moments that I feel awesome and in control of entire games. And there are also moments that I feel like I'm just mashing buttons to see what works. As I continue to play this fighter in the future, this problem may subside. But right now, I cannot say that I fully enjoy Min Min's playstyle. For me, this character is so incredibly inconsistent. In other words, Min Min has incredible highs, and also incredible lows. Beyond Min Min herself, this update also brings with it the rest of Fighter Pack 6, including the Spring Stadium stage, 18 new music tracks, and an ARMS DLC spirit board. Spring Stadium features new jump pads on its ledges and platforms, and they make for an incredibly fun casual experience. The fact that you can use the trampolines to kill opponents is hilarious, and the chaos of bouncing off the ceilings is the kind of crazy action Smash Bros was built upon. Unfortunately, Spring Stadium does not hold up as well competitively. With hazards off, the jump pads disappear, but the ceilings remain. This ensures that despite having a somewhat unique layout and size, Spring Stadium cannot be legal for top level play. Frankly, the main reason that sucks is because the ARMS music in this DLC pack is so amazing. With Min Min, you get 18 new tracks to listen to in game, and it's almost the entirety of the ARMS soundtrack. Both the new Smash Bros remixes and the original tracks included are excellent, with some standouts being, well, all of them. 
I especially like the Grand Prix Remix and Cinema Do. I'm not even kidding. I would have bought this DLC pack if it only included the music. I love all of Smash's ever-growing song library, and the ARMS tracks are certainly some new highlights. Finally, the ARMS DLC Spirit Board includes six new foes to battle, and it completes the existing ARMS Spirit roster with additions like Helix, Master Mummy, and Max Brass. Especially if you're a completionist, they serve as a fun way to continue curating your 1400 strong spirit collection. Overall, I like Smash Ultimate's sixth fighter pack. Min Min is a highly unique character, and despite her steep learning curve, I can appreciate how her design truly really captures the gameplay of ARMS. Spring Stadium is a fun casual stage that pays tribute to its source material, and all 18 music tracks that are included with this DLC are simply fantastic. On this review scale, I would give Smash Ultimate's Fighter Pack 6 an A-. While I wish I liked Min Min's moveset more, I cannot deny the inherent quality in this DLC. It's truly amazing how after 80 characters, Mr. Sakurai and his team are still finding new and exciting ways to implement more game series and playstyles into Super Smash Bros. What about you? What are your thoughts on Fighter Pack 6? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm The Hobbyist, making videos about whatever, whenever. If you like what you saw, consider sharing this video and subscribing for more. I have some very special Smash related projects planned for the future. If you missed it, be sure to check out my re-narration of Sakurai's ARMS DLC presentation, complete with a few one-liners. Until next time, thanks for watching.